So are keyboards cool or not? Well, in the right way, yeah. I mean, if they're used for effect and everything, depends, you know. Um, we used keyboards on the What Was Satan album um, to add some bass tones behind the atmosphere and things. So, yeah, they can be cool. I don't know. We don't use keyboards uh, in our music. Yes, they are, if they're used in the right way. You all... Most of the people today uh, into underground black metal believe that if you make it with very few um, uh, budget, you are a true black metal band. But in fact, if you take all these bands, Behemoth or Darkthorn or whatever, they made this kind of raw recording because they had no better choice. And trying to do that today is like useless. It's just like being marionettes, just trying to do something that you don't even understand. Most of these kids have uh, lots of money and they just try to do something they cannot even perceive. Because it's necro. <laughs> yeah, I think a lot of the black metal bands tend to use um, the, the four track home recording sound to make themselves sound like they're a truer black metal band. But, um, you know, I, there's only been a handful of bands that I personally listen to who I think can pull that off. It's coming from the from the eighties, more or less, when death metal became uh, more technical, more better produced in the states, and in Norway we we went the other way, uh, having poorer productions, uh, focusing more on the atmosphere. And when Venom came out and stuff, and Hellhammer, it was often a, the bands were doing the best they could with the limited time money they had, and the sort of ugly production was a sort of counteraction to. I suppose a lot of the mainstream productions where people could play very well, bands like Iron Maiden and that kind of thing, and that sort of attitude still prevails in black metal today. It's not really, often it's not necessarily about the sound or the how well it's recorded or how well it's played, it's more about the feeling behind it. I personally don't have nothing against well-produced albums, and I hope that people are not that stupid that they even think about this kind of stuff. Good music is good music, even if it is done in woods or in million box studio. A band can become a shitty band and lose all spirit without getting any money. And some bands can gain a lot of money and have still the same money, I mean the same spirit. It's all about being still perverse and having the same uh, goal, which is mainly be a hero of Satan and bring something to the other people. To bring something to the people who are already into it and to try to bring some more people to the cult. I think in order to, you know, experiment as an artist in this form, you know, why limit yourself to just doing four track home recordings when, you know, you can go into a studio and experiment with sounds and come up with something that's unique. <laughs> So the first Venom album was actually a demo, so uh, do you think that the success of that album uh, confused metal fans and uh, make them uh, think that a raw production is true black metal? Well, it wasn't just it wasn't just the raw production of the band, it was the raw production of the studio. It was a, a very battered old fucking studio as well. Um, you know, uh, that, that gear was fucking well through. I mean, the desk and the, the actual desk and the tape machine was used to record uh, Ziggy Stardust Spiders from Mars album. Really? That's how wow. that's how old it was, yeah. That's that's a fact, absolutely. Um the gear was fucking ancient. You know, you could it was a demo studio anyway. Uh, it was owned by a band called Lindisfarne and they used to go in there to record the demos and then they'd go down to London and record their album properly. Um and you know when I joined the studio there was no metal in the building at all. And it was it was sort of me going around the clubs and seeing all the metal bands that were starting out at the time uh, that actually convinced the record company to start releasing some metal albums. Um, Tigers, Bantang, Raven, Fist, White Spirit and, and bands like that at the time, you know, which was part of the new wave of British heavy metal. Right. Um, and then we sort of muscled in and, and uh, got some Venom demos done and, uh, you know, uh, bribed them into releasing the fuckers, you know, and it, uh, it worked out quite well. 